Now when you have a traditional turkey, you always have cranberry sauce. This is like the only time we use raw cranberries. We've, we've never raw tasted raw. So do you want to try one? Ready? Oh. There must be a lot of sugar. In. Wow. You know, when you first bite into it, it kind of reminds me of a pomegranate. Mm. And then it just gets more and more sour and more sour. We have cranberries. I'm gonna go in. The next thing going in is sugar. Orange zest. The zest of one whole. This orange. is what an orange looks like after you zest it. I thought it was really interesting. It reminded me of a tennis ball. Okay, so I'm gonna put in a little bit of nutmeg just to add a little bit of bite. Nutmeg is pretty potent, so you don't wanna add too much. And a sprinkling of cinnamon. Since it's festive anyways. Bag it up. This one we're gonna seal. The one thing you need to remember about cranberries is that they float. I don't know if you watch those ocean spray commercials and it's like <laughs> up to their waist in, in cranberries. These float, so you're gonna need to weigh these down even after you suck all the air out. And if you're making this for your turkey, which I assume you are, and you, you might be also making uh, the vegetable sides like mashed potatoes, carrots, parsnips, but not squash, all those things, they all go in at the same temperature at 190 degrees. 190. So you can literally dump all this cranberry sauce, the potatoes, vegetables all in at the same time and you're done. Mm -hmm. So cranberry sauce out of the sous vide. The next thing we do is the fun part. We just uh, mush it. We're gonna crush it in the bag. Oh, it's Ooh. really hot, actually. Oh, it's hot. Is it hot? Yes. I have sensitive fingers. Okay. But Kevin can eat like boiling hot soup. I have a Chinese mouth. From but sensitive fingers. But she can't lift the bowl, so it's kind of counterproductive. Oh yeah, whatever. So yeah, okay. give it a little mush. I think I like it a little mushier. So we're gonna mush it up like this. Mm. It smells really nice. Yeah. I actually smell all the um, zest. Mm. It's pretty good. Would you serve this cold or hot? I think you can do both. But since we prepared it beforehand, it will be cold now. 